a gaming i wanted to go over what i've learned so far with playing am right now in the current state of this game which is uh the latest D dlc was eldar and um i i've tried lots of different build orders and i've come to a conclusion the best build order and most consistent um, power are, there's a couple build orders, but that are more consistent and seem to give you the best chance of winning with AM. Uh, the first one is a high food start, which is you go barracks first into a hero building, early commissar, buy the icon to get your influence higher. And then um, you're going to another barracks later, and then lots of food, and then another barracks. And then your second city is a science city, and your third city is uh, a power city. And you're basically teching to uh, uh, you're teching to air in that build. Uh, so that's a high food build order. Second one I've learned is a mixed build, which is, it's good for if you're being rushed on a tiny map, uh, such as orc, which is like, uh, you go barracks first and then armory. And the third building is generally a ore building to compensate for the upkeep with the transports and, and whatnot. But sometimes you have to build um but usually with mixed builds you're either you're mostly building the third building as a or then then a cultist and then a hero building uh the mixed build is nice in that it will definitely give you like the high food build and the mixed build both give you that that um pretty good size army uh although i think the strongest build is the high food build to be honest uh and then the mixed build you, you still transition into late game artillery and tanks. Uh, but you start with that initial barracks just to give you the chaff and the stopping power. The thing is, what I've learned is tanks, artillery, uh, they just kind of soft, they mostly soften up units. And without the guardsmen, without the heavy teams, without the grenades, without the commissar, you, you really miss that punching power that you need to, to take care of things. So what I really feel like is going a mech only build is very weak in my, what I've learned, what I, I played AM a lot in the last three weeks. And I find that you don't do like, um, it's not explosive enough, like compared to a lot of other factions that can delete units in one or two hits. Whereas with a mech build, you're, you're, you could, hit something with three tanks and a, and a hydra and then it's maybe not even dead or or it finally dies so it's um whereas a com commie and cheap guardsmen bring it down level three you're one-shotting uh chaff sometimes you're one-shotting with crack grenade um uh barges or whatnot and it, it also gives you option to kill heroes if if you plan it properly with the stun grenade and put heavy teams out so i really do not recommend doing a mech only build now what if you are surrounded by nothing but volcanic uh, what do you do if it's all minus 20 well maybe you want to re uh or i guess you could hope that you can gather lots of food special resources around you the one thing i'll say is when you go like mixed build or, or, or barracks first build, which is a high food start. Uh, well, actually mixed build is also a barracks first, but uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, when you go with that high production with two productions right, right off the bat, uh, you are able to get map control quite quickly, which makes your economy better, your scouting better. And yeah, AM wants a turtle, but I think, like I said, when you turtle and give up all, the whole map, your economy is going to suffer. 
you're going to be paranoid because you don't have good vision. But when you go... Um, I'm baby <laughs> babysitting right now. Yeah, so my main point is, I do not recommend the mech only build with AM. I think it's a trap. I think people think like, oh great, you know, tanks, artillery. Yes, they're really good. But like I said at the beginning of the video, it, it mostly softens up units. And you don't have, uh, whereas if you go mixed build, you've got a solid build of infantry, heavy teams, and then tanks and artillery. Or if you go high food build with high science and then later air, you've got transports for your troops uh, in the air. And also there does, uh, AM's air is quite good. And they have the edicts to go super mass air. Uh, so I, um, you still want to play them as a turtle faction kind of like, I would say you have, if you go with those two builds I mentioned, you have a very strong early game. And then when it comes to mid game, you have to kind of fall back, wait for those better units like artillery or just, um, uh, void shields and whatnot. And then, you know, depending on what build you're going, you, you get the advantage later on with the higher tech units. So I don't consider AM a good, like, rushing faction to attack a base because uh, their units are quite squishy unless it's like a two range base and you can heavy team it but that's all i gotta say i just want to make this quick video i could talk about a couple things i think the chimera is uh well let's talk i think the the psyker how you want to spec the psyker really is to mainly for the the gaze ability but in emergency to use the blast ability but usually in a in a base defense way or um in a in cover never in the open because the psycho will just get rocked um but yeah the psyker and scout sentinels i wouldn't i think getting one or two is not bad because um they you know uh you want as much intel and I think where AM becomes really dangerous is either if they get air or if they get uh, tanks with artillery and guardsmen and heavy teams. When you have that combination, you have like a sick front line, mid line, back line, and then you throw in bastions and shield generators. That is a very, very hard line to crack. The problem is trying to get that army. Um, and the only way I, I I think you could do it reliably is um, by those two builds I, I, I sort of mentioned, the high food build or the mixed build. I don't believe, I mean, I've won maybe a couple games with the, the mech only build, but it, only in certain matchups, like where if my opponent didn't build a lot of chaff units or whatnot and I got lucky, but when I go the high food build or a mixed build and I properly get my four armories online, uh, I tend to have a lot more success playing them. But they are definitely harder faction to play. But I feel like the mech only build, I feel very weak Like as a faction. It just does not... Um, you just don't have this, the, like I said, the, the units are fairly tanky, but I think guardsmen, heavy teams are very important. Uh, so that's what I've learned so far. And I haven't seen AM players ever go air. And I think that is one area where people are missing out with AM. And like I said, I would only go air on a high food start where you're maximizing food and barracks, and then second city, your science city. It, it's totally possible to get air before anyone else does, or come at the same time as Necron maybe, but um, AM's air is much better than Necron or most factions. I mean, if we're talking unit to unit, the, the jet fighter range three, uh, it hits like a truck against other air units. Um, the Valkyrie is very tanky, it's awesome transport, 
Uh, the Marauder Bomber, I think if you're blessed with a 40% super power city and you've got just crap loads of power, I don't think it's a bad air unit. Uh, because if you have two or three of those things, like, you know, they're not, they're very hard to bring down for one. Like, you need a lot of firepower to just bring down one of those units. But that's all I got to say. Uh, now, if you disagree or if you have comments, leave a comment in uh, the section. What do you think about AM? I know a lot of people uh, have claimed AM is the weakest faction. I do think they're the weakest if you just do the mech only build. Hands down, I, I don't think it's, it's a very strong faction. But I think if you're able to get a, um, either the mixed build with infantry and, and tanks artillery or you go lots of infantry and then into air, I think those are the strongest builds that I, I, that I know of. Uh, Take Commander is quite good and Psyker is more of a support hero. Uh, Commissar is great when you when you go in it. Um, yeah, I'd probably say Psyker would be your last third option as a hero if you have the resources to do it. But I'd much rather have a Kami and a Tank Commander if we're you know talking about that. The one thing I've never built a, a Bane Blade before. I, I really would like to get to a game where. Um, I like to see a Bane Blade come out. The other thing I'd mention, if, if you are going the air route, you have to build in one of your bases uh, a crane in order to build the air buildings quicker. So that's one small caveat that people have to understand. With that said, I will say goodbye, leave a comment. Do you agree AM is decent? Or have you found any build orders that you think work with AM? Like I said, I've only found two that I consistently uh, win me games. And the other build orders, namely the mech build, definitely uh, it feels really bad. I don't like it at all. And I think, I think, from my opinion, I think most people that play AM, they do the mech only build. And I think that's why they, they complain that AM so bad. And then the other thing is when they go high barracks, they don't go, they don't tech to air. So they basically fizzle out mid to late game because you can't just possibly win on infantry only. So I think, I think that's the missing puzzle is that uh, those two things, I think if you play AM, uh, you'll get better if you, you know, based on what I feel, so that's about it. I'm going to end this video here.